the farm laid out actually is in more or less five acre blocks with different systems uh, on each block. Put uh, a bit, think about it, see what went wrong the next farm. So, uh, this one here is about five acres of hazel, uh, we call it hazel field or, or other obviously. Uh, and this is a hazel coppice agroforestry system. And the basic layout is the same uh, in each case, that there are lines of trees or hedge <coughs> hedges which are always running north-south with an alley between which is nominally about 12 metres. Um, and that, that's the basic layout. So in this case, the hazel, uh, well, somebody might say, hey, wait a minute, this guy said diversity is the thing to think about here, and here we are in this five acres and it's all hazel. Well, the thing to remember about hazel is that it's an outcrossing crop. So in fact, although there are something like 1,200 hazel plants in this field, if you look at them very carefully at different times of the uh, of the growing season and so on, you can find uh, from any feature of the plant that you can measure that they're all different from each other. There are no two identical hazel plants in the field. You can always recognise them as hazel plants, but everyone is different. Um, so, what's the basic idea with this alley cropping? Well, having these lines of trees means that uh, the trees, of course, they're perennials, which means that the roots go down deep and the plant stays there all the time. Uh, we try and force the roots to go deep by, uh, well, just very simply by ploughing the alleys uh, for the different crops in the rotation, uh, and that has the action of being like a sort of simple root pruning as we go uh, with the, the plough furrow along the edge of the trees. And that takes off the more superficial roots but allows the, the deeper ones to, to grow. Of course there must be competition between the tree roots and the crop roots but on the whole we try and uh, force things a little bit. A line of poplar uh, which we took down um, last autumn um, and that uh, came back very very quickly or started to come back very quickly but we do have another hedge behind it uh, which acts as a sort of shelter together with the hazel uh, and then of course trees around the house uh, on the south side but shelter more or less all the way around um, and the mixture of fruit trees in the middle. What you can also see is that uh, the field is split north-south into two halves uh, where you can see the, uh, the legume trial being ploughed up. Um, the idea is that we grow vegetables on one end for about three years until you know, we started to get problems with too many thistles and so on. Didn't like the yeah. 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 And it, yes, it changes the whole sound. Some mistakes here, uh, particularly with walnut, uh, which I had no experience of before at all. But it does seem that with walnut, if you want to really establish decent walnut trees, you do have to have
that uh, we've just taken out the alternate row, as it were. So what you see in the hedge that's standing here is one year of growth, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, in fact, relatively disappointing because of the, the drought that we had last spring. Things were rather slow. So for the first time for some years, uh, it was very, very easy to distinguish the one year from the two year growth. Uh, very often, the wet year and the moisture spread probably through the whole year, then uh, it can be quite difficult. I mean, you can't see at first glance which is one year old and two year old. Um, but yeah, here's the new peak uh, behind you.